This is just some baking paper, and I'm gonna set it down and prepare the beets onto this baking paper so that it absorbs all the juices and not the board. Two carrots, slice off the ends. Turnip and peeling. This one doesn't need to be peeled. So I'm just gonna take a handful of the turnip and just squeeze it and then just set it in the bowl. Okay. It'll totally wash off. And just strain it through your small strainer to catch any of the bits. And mm. it's so good. I'm gonna put the rice in. Twice the amount of water. Put a pinch of salt when you're cooking rice. It just helps to bring out the flavor. And then to the stove. So turn it on to high and you wanna bring the rice to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, just reduce it down to a very low simmer and cook it for about 45 minutes until the rice is nice and soft. Next, we're going to roast the hazelnuts. And then you wanna put it in the oven at 325 degrees. It's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes. They're like really light brown right now and they smell amazing. There they are. A few of those skins. And now I'm gonna mince up these nuts. I'm just gonna put the nuts into this bowl until they're needed later. Just gonna put it here. I'm gonna need the juice of one lime as well. Squeeze all the juice out. Mincing that parsley. it's all going in the same place in the end. Add in the garlic. You want to add your vegetables. It's going to break them up a little bit as I add them. Give it a nice stir. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of red chilies, one and a half teaspoons of dill weed, this is just dried dill and three tablespoons of soy sauce. Now you can see the beet is mixing with everything and taking over. Go right in there. And I'm gonna put the rice as well from earlier. <laughs> There's that. I'm gonna add the hazelnuts. It's adding a lot of flavor. And as I said before, we've got the parsley and the lime zest here and the lime juice. Now's where I get my hands dirty, mixing it up. The oat flour comes in. Going here. So I'm adding about half a cup to start here. I'm gonna use a knife here just to portion this into six pieces to make my patties. And then you can smush it down. It is. I'm gonna add a good amount of oil and just add them in. Now careful with the hot oil when you're putting the patties in, you don't want it to splash. So they're gonna cook there for a couple minutes. You wanna not disturb them. You are kind of push the patty down. I like that. You know what's super cool is that the brown rice in there has actually browned up and that's gonna be really crispy when you take a bite into it or chewy, you know? So we've got these gluten-free buns. What's gonna happen is we'll finish off. That's looking pretty good, I like that. That's it. I'm gonna put 
lettuce, some mashed avocado. Took some avocado. So next I'm gonna put the patty on. And then tomato. Wow. <laughs> so let me do that. 